certainly the cybersecurity challenge is uh, is a we're a not for profit organisation who's set up to try and address the um, the massive skills gap in the UK for cybersecurity professionals. We do this by running competitions um, with the aid of our sponsors, which include government, industry and academia, who we pull them all together and they help us devise and run the competitions. This way we then identify from thousands of registrants the, um, the top level of um, the amateurs that are coming in. Because what we're trying to do is identify new talent into the industry that isn't there already. Um, so we're not trying to look for the ex existing cybersecurity professionals, we're trying to get new talent because the skills gap is so big. Um, we've been going for a few years now and we've got uh, numerous um, uh, high grade, high level uh, sponsors. Um, we've got the government, we've got GCHQ, we have um, Office of Cyber Security, we've got HP, we've got uh, PwC, KPMG, SANS, Sophos, a whole raft of sponsors. And um, we go through and we identify this, um, this talent and um, we also have an awareness campaign. And so with that awareness campaign, because we know we've got to prime the pump for the future, we don't just need um, a few this year, a few hundred this year, we need thousands. And so that means we've got to get to the education establishments, to the universities, and we're here at Lancaster University today. So in the future, we'll be doing much more with a wider audience. But for, um, and th this year, we've got about 20 competitions on, ranging from virtual through to face-to-face, -face, and then a masterclass at the end. Well, I wouldn't really go down the threats because I'm sure there's a lot better people who can answer the detailed threats than I can on the technical side of life. But I think there's three main areas that um, I think key challenges that need to be addressed. And that's education, communication and resourcing. Education, businesses need to educate themselves and find out what the threat is to their business. Different sectors have different threats and, and um, different IPR in one area isn't necessarily a big threat in others and so the finance sector's got a different one to the retail sector and all sorts. So they are they are different threats and so each company's got to understand its own because dealing with cyber security needs to be seen as an opportunity for competitive advantage and not just um, a something that you have to do. So you need to make sure it's eff uh, cost effective for your organisation an SME will be so different to a large organisation. So it needs to educate itself in what that is right for that organisation. Communication, we've got a lot of technical people out there, but there are difficulties when they're talking to the CEOs and the, and the business uh, managers. They've got to put their technical knowledge about what this threat is and they've got to be able to put it into business language. It's a common thread of um, issues that are, that are coming out from many reports that are, that are around the bazaars. The third one is resourcing, and that's really where the cybersecurity challenge comes in as well. The skills gap is so large, and the re normal recruitment processes aren't, just aren't working. So that's why we've got to try and identify, inspire, and engage this new talent and, with, and buy a competitions, which is a new way of doing things. It's now been run in the US as well. And so we do that to see whether we can see that there's any new talent. And, and we get lots of... Um, we get thousands of um, registrations that, that come through and some of these guys just, some of them got degrees, some of them haven't. Women, um, all sorts of uh, a spectrum. We'd like more women into the cyber security profession so we are targeting those this year as well. And um, so that's why we have the competitions. And as I say, they go from virtual competitions through to face-to-face. -to -face. We've got Kinetic running a face-to-face -face with ISC Square this year on secure control. We've got NetWars, which is in um, November, December this year, which is a penetration testing and uh, networking um, uh, competition. We've got um, forensics competitions and we've got risk and policy with um, Orange and ProDriver helping us on those as well. And so we've got all the big names like Sophos and HP and Cassidian are running a masterclass again this year. So it's all very good. The candidates come on. The candidates have got an excellent opportunity to network amongst themselves uh, growing up in their industry with this ready-made network for them, they're getting access to some of our sponsors because part of the reason for the challenge is to put candidates, this new talent that we've got, in touch with sponsors. We put that and so and, and sponsors in touch with candidates and also our sponsors in touch with each other because there's business being done within the challenge as well. So this way we're actually helping the recruitment. So we're not doing it all, but we're doing our part and there's lots more that can be done.